But no, Toronto is not an accessible city. The amount of clubs that are up like three flights of stairs or washrooms that are down, the tiniest staircase, four, you know, four floors down, because it's an old city, you know, and people yeah. have made, you know, they're even in times where I have hurt my leg and I have trouble bending my knee, getting into the subway, most stations, it's like, it's near impossible. I think only mm -hmm. a couple of them had elevators. Um, yeah, yeah, that's like here. Yeah. Because when, when my kids were in a stroller and I had to like this big stroller to get around, I dreaded taking the elevators. I would have like almost anxiety attacks over it because they were either broken or people yeah. would be like urinating in them. And it's just like, you didn't, didn't feel safe in those elevators going down into the underground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. Um, you know? Yeah, it's getting to know Desiree and, and getting to know my friends. And I don't have a large number of friends who are, you know, uh, not able to walk. Um, but it, it really, these past few months has really opened my eyes to how accessible Zoom comedy is. Um, and granted, it's not the same as being in a club, but that fact that Desiree can perform as much as she can perform, I think is so great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I, and I think, the thing to me is that it also opens up just the whole idea of, of what are open mics, who gets to do them, who gets to put them on. And, and I'm like, oh, I can just run an open mic. Like, I didn't even understand that whole thing. I'm just like, I thought people that ran them actually had some kind of, I don't know, um, some clout of some sort to get you on shows. I was like, no, they're just running mics to run them. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> It's cool. That's fine. But I mean, you just learn, I'm, I'm learning so much more about stuff that I didn't think about before. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, it's true. Um, I have seen a, a higher amount of diversity in these online shows than I've seen in real life, it, especially in Toronto. I've seen such a cross section of folks and such a cross section of voices, which has been so great because nine times out of 10, when I do a show in real life here, it's, maybe myself and one other woman or someone who doesn't identify as male. Um, and uh, it, it's pretty much all white dudes. Mm -hmm. For as big as the city is and as diverse as it, as it is, the comedy scene doesn't really showcase that here. Would you say it's, it's the comedy scene or there aren't enough comics that, or people that feel like they can go into comedy because they don't see themselves? Ooh. Probably a bit of both, because I, I think when you look at lineups and you see just white dude, white dude, white dude, oh, and we have a female in the, uh, you know, in the show tonight, that one woman who's there championing the cause, um, yeah. I can't imagine that would encourage you to try it because you don't see anybody who looks like you. Mm -hmm. So why the heck, you know, yeah. It, it makes yeah, me really sad because this is such a diverse city. And when you get to know like how many people are out doing, doing at, at the open mic specifically, and you see those comics you would see at, we have three main clubs here. Um, and if you don't see them on those stages, you wouldn't know that they're doing anything or telling any jokes or had a different perspective on something, um, which really breaks my heart. Yeah. The thing that I would say that I found different about in-person open mics versus online. I mean, and maybe sometimes there's a little crossover in this thing where people don't always understand your humor. So like, for me, I'm like, what, what's the point of me going to an open mic if, it, if it's an all white male audience and their view on the world is not my view and I'm going to tell them jokes and they're just not going to get it. So how do I get real feedback if my stuff is working or not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's been kind of like, I think that's why I didn't really go to a lot of open mics because sometimes people get your humor, but they laugh more when you kind of make fun of yourself or like your background versus like a real joke that you're trying to tell. I feel like. It'll be fine. It'll be fine.